Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of Clean Technica TV, which will be about Tesla's seat factory. Now I know this is being released later than you guys were expecting, but that's because we listened to your feedback. This five-part series will now be a three-part series, and the third episode is almost done, and will be released just a few days after this one. Actually, small update, since Tesla has an investor call on the 24th, we're postponing it till Sunday. So without further ado, enjoy part two. Tesla's seat factory is actually not part of the complex where Tesla assembles its cars. So leave that behind for a little bit. But don't worry, it's just two miles down the road. It's not a huge building, but it's big enough. Unlike the main Fremont factory facility, which Elon has said is bursting at the seams, the seat factory still has room for additional lines. Right now, all Model 3 chairs are made on a single super efficient line. In the future, that could become two lines. Fun fact, there are basically only four seat manufacturers in the world that all car brands share. As far as we know, Tesla is the only one to have taken seat production in-house, and that makes them very unique and competitive. Not only can they lower their prices, they can create custom products made exactly to Tesla's specifications. I'd say the result speaks for itself. Zach likes to call them cloud seats, and I tend to agree with that. Tesla has often said that there are a lot of tasks that robots just can't do. When we asked for examples, they said that cables are flimsy and robots would not be very good at handling that. Now while I technically understand what they mean, it still leaves a lot to the imagination. Well, no longer. Because in the seat factory, we witness something that makes this really apparent. I think it's an example Tesla should show everywhere all the time. This is where leather is being put over the foam of the chair. Just look at how much work goes into this. Fiddling around with it, making it fit properly, pulling over the head, stretching it out nicely, getting rid of wrinkles. There are so many little tasks here involved in putting the letter exactly the right way, making it fit perfectly everywhere. Just imagine if a robot had to do this. Next, this gets put over the metal frame of the chair. Also not the simplest task for a robot, if you think about it. And the whole package gets closed up. Also, just a small detail, we can see here that this piece is part of the backseat chairs. Today we'll also be explaining some more about those infamous little autonomous robots slowly driving around the factory. Turns out they're a lot more polite than we might have anticipated. Not only do they stop for you if you're in their path, but they also nicely wait for each other. So here you see the robot coming to a stop, and another one approaching from the opposite direction. As the first robot turns, the other politely waits for it, and another one comes behind it. But what you see now, after the robots stop and think for a while, it lets the other robot that arrived earlier go first. I think that's pretty cool. In the factory, we talk to engineers, factory workers, hell, we even talk to Jerome Guillen. The one thing you see is smiling people, but especially determined people. They all know they are working for a mission. So when we thank them for what they do, they knew exactly what we were talking about and they were proud. Every single one of them. When these robots get to their destination, this is how they deliver their goods.
and then they move on. Tesla often refers to marriage as the union of the battery pack and the body of the car. However, to our surprise, we found out that the seat factory has its own marriage. That is the moment the two parts of the seat get combined. Here, take a look. Just look at that. As with everything, Tesla is madly in love with efficiency. Production efficiency, capital efficiency. If Tesla wanted to represent its daily struggles in the form of a game, there would be two of them. The game of pennies that Elon plays everywhere, and the game of seconds that they intensively focus on here at the seat factory. So you've seen seat marriage, but what you might not have known is how complex that operation actually is. Currently, it takes 33 seconds to complete, but that is already quite an achievement on its own and took many months. It involved many little adjustments, each time shaving off a second or even 0.8 of a second. So we asked Tesla, give us an example of one of these crazy adjustments. And so they did. Instead of having a robot pick up and move a bolt, they now launch it with an air gun through a vacuum tube. Then they improved it further by only firing a bolt halfway through the tube so that when the next one is fired, it doesn't have to travel the whole distance, which is where that 0.8 second example comes into play. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, the guns fire at the same time, yet the bolt that was fired halfway arrives earlier. Now what does this look like in real life? Nothing even close to the visualization. The air gun isn't even much of a gun, it's most likely that white machine over there. And the tube is that transparent little thing over there. Then a few more side panels and cables get connected, and the chair is off to the main complex where it will be put in the car. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do let us know in the comments below if you have any further feedback. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when we release part 3, a bonus episode and other future episodes. Thank you for watching.